Hello and welcome back to Eorgia. My name is Jesus and today we look into the best side quests on FF14. This might be the story, rewards or both. Regardless, I feel that this is the very best that this world has to offer us. Of course, if I forgot some, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. And with that, let's get into it. The first one I'd like to mention, it's called Hair Club for Hire. Now the, the rewards are not great, but the story, and this is where it shines, is hilarious. Now this quest is not voice and it does require you to read the text, but it's so worth it. You can find Helmart and his uh, problem on the high bridge at Eastern Ten Line. Next up, we have the quest like cats and dogs. And this one actually opens up the two quests you're trying to get at, in which you can get two minions. The first one is a reward from the quest Curiosity Kill the Curl, where you have to save the cub. And the second one is Man's Best Friend, in which you have to find and suit the puppy. At the end of these the quests, you will have two brand new minions to show off. You can start this by going down to Aleport in Western Lanosea. The post moogle storyline starts with the quest called Varan Episodes, and this will send you in the quest chain delivering letters to the Eorzean people. As the postal service has completely broken down, and it's up to you, the Warrior of Light, to see that this service prevails. Your rewards will be a mini mold minion, a star spangled subligar, a post moogle hat, and the title of Postmaster. Now, if you put the hat plus the subligar together, you get something that kind of looks like, or I'm just venturing a guess, a candy gram uniform. That's right. Enjoy. The story arc happens in the city of Ishgard. Quest chain called the Skull Estates quest line. It starts with the quest called Keeping the Ledger. It's a story about rebuilding and improving the Skull Estates after the main events on Evans Ward. This will net you a few pieces of glamour. The Inspector eyeglasses, the Emote spectacles, the Skull Estates coat, and the title of the Holy Body. All in all, a great story with some really good rewards. And you can find this quest by heading to the Pillars in Ishgard and speaking with Matai. His location is on screen right now. The greatest story never told is one side quest that has no significant rewards. And the story is not really the strong point. Oh no. This quest belongs on this list for a couple of reasons that are not apparent when you do take it upon yourself to complete it. You could say it shows you more of the Orgia, and that's a good reason. But what really puts it on this list is indeed the treasure hunt aspect. You will gotta find NPCs through clues and the cipher coded notes, and all of this with no quest markers. This is a quest that you will remember not for its story or awesome combat, but for the ability to make a user wits to complete it. Or Google. That works too. This next one is at the end of the Beast Tribe of Namazu. Now, as far as Beast Tribes go, the Namazu are by far the hilarious one. Their quest line is ridiculous, and their cutscenes are just, you're just gonna die over laughing. I'm not even exaggerating. And all of this starts in the Azim Steps with the quest, Something Fishy This Wake Comes. This will be in a daily format that you have to build your reputation as you go. And you do get some really good rewards with your higher levels of rep. By the end of the quest line, after you complete Disciples of Creation, you will be rewarded with the Namazu Bell, which is a necklace, the Bikoshi Flute, which summons a squad of Namazu to carry you around, which is kind of like a mount, attendee number 777, and the dance emote, Yule Dance, which is a great dance, very graceful, and not funny at all. Learning how to lolly ho. This quest can be started in Scree, which is an area just south of Tamra in Kalusia. You will be tasked with the goal of teaching a dwarf named Ronit the intricacies of the traditional salutation of his people, the lolly ho. But there is a problem. 
It seems our pal Ronit doesn't know how to do it. And so, with the help of the Warrior of Darkness, that's you, he embarks on a journey throughout his village, learning about the legendary Lolly Ho. At the end, both you and the dwarf become experts of this gesture, giving you the very cool emote called the Lolly Ho. The paths we walk are, in my opinion, one of the best storylines in this game by far. It takes place in the aftermath of the Dragon Song. Through these series of quests, you will see how much the war and its true purpose, now discovered, impacted this society and its denizens. We're sent on a journey that will show us how much the Merchant's Guild betrayal and the Dragon Song War affected our world. It's kind of a pilgrimage that will take us back to the Sultana's Poison, all the way to the conclusion of the Dragon Song quest arc. A must-do quest chain, and one that rewards you with the emote Ashpan, and the title On the Road Again. And you can start this journey in front of the Four Town Manor and speak with the men servant to start it. The house that Death built is the quest line you take to unlock the Palace of the Dead. But that's not why we're talking about it, no. This is a quest that's part of what is now called the Ida Saga. And who is Ida, you might ask? She was a healer for a party of adventurers. And her story is one of tragedy and loss. But in the end, we can give her some measure of peace. This story is spent throughout a few patches, but the ends with the Palace of the Dead. It's a story that is worth to be told and one that's worth to be remembered. So when you meet her for the last time, remember what she went through to get here and the mercy of a killing blow. And finally, we arrive to the quest chain that is epic. And when I say epic, I mean epic. Welcome to the Hildebrand quests. The inspector is Columbo, Gadget, and Cluzo all in one dirty and worn out package. And boy, what a journey. I mean, the sheer breadth of it, it's kind of mind blowing. The quest chain expands all the way from Realm Reborn to Stormblood. And it never gets old or boring. In fact, the more you do it, the funnier it gets. I can't simply recommend this enough. To start this chain, you need to talk to Wymon in the Emerald Avenue located in the Steps of Nold. And this will put you on the path of madness and hilarity. Also, the rewards are really, really good. So we start with the Manderville uh, dance. We get the Wind Up Gentleman, the Menderville Coatee and Bottoms, the Most Gentlemanly Emote, GG Dominion, and the Menderville Mambo. That comes with an awesome cutscene just to uh, wrap everything up and a bow tie. To play Final Fantasy XIV and not do the Hillebrand chain is to play it at half strength. Give it a try and let me know in the comments down below. But I already know that you're going to love it, and I dare you to prove me wrong. And that's it for the video, guys. I hope you found some quests that you want to do and some that you're already done. Thank you so much for watching, and until the next one, peace out.